Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, how to take out your bulb on your straight headlight Volkswagen Beetle. Let's get to it. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver and let's go. So just down here, undo this. Just be careful because a lot of times these chrome rings have been known to scratch your paint. Um, if you're not getting a German or you're getting a Brazilian or something like that. So just be careful there. And sometimes they can stick like you see right now. Do, 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 do. Oop, there you go. Okay. So here's your whole assembly here. So what you want to take a look at is basically the chrome ring. There's a trim ring right around that's holding the bulb in place. I don't know if you can see that, but what you see is look where the tabs that are fused to this chrome ring, where they are that, hold, that are holding it to the fender. And what I see is there's a tab here, come around side here, there's a tab here with another screw, a tab on, uh, that's it. Actually just looks like two, oh, nope, found another one, it looks like three tabs that are holding it in place. So let's do that. Phillips screwdriver. These are just some sheet metal screws. Just be careful, you don't want to drop the bulb. Let the screw drop, that's okay. So take the bulb out, bingo, bango. And that's it, so here's your chrome ring. You, you can slide this off, just like that. You look at your bulb, if it's blown, usually you see a black mark, dark mark inside the glass. And then here's your prongs. You just pull these prongs off, just like that. And that's it, it's just a plug on prong. Now, people have asked me, you know, they don't even know how to put the wires on this prong. So I'll show you right here. There's always three sections here where the wires go into. Now, I always tell people the white wire is your bright, right? So I always say when you're looking, when you're facing behind the bulb or when you're facing, looking this way of the switch, white is always right. Always faces towards the passenger side. White, white is right. And then brown, ground is always just the opposite. So that's how I always remember that. White, right. Okay, so this even goes for uh, hooking up the back tail lights. When you face the back of the uh, the bulb holder on a tail light, white, right. So it will be white and red or white and black on uh, tail light placement. So that's uh, just kind of what I remember. But uh, and that's it. That's how you change the bulb. Now to put it all back together, kind of remember the way it came off. Okay, so you have these sections here that hold the chrome trim ring, and you want to you want to hook that up exactly the same way. Now this bulb has notches on it, right? And these notches sit into these placements, okay, of this holder right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's cutouts right here. There's a cutout right here and a cutout right here. Usually the bulb has to be put in this way. Okay, so with the single prong up here, one, two, three, okay, it's got to be facing up that way. Just look at the bulb and you want even the letters to face you and want it not to be crooked, not to be this way or this way. It's got to be straight even with the number that's up at the top of the bulb here. So first you want to put on your trim ring and just make sure you're lined up here, that you're gonna line up here. See, I, I notice here I'm not lined up, so this point might look right, but then the other two are off. So you keep turning until you get that right. And that looks about right there. Okay, so this is the way the ring's gotta go. Usually it's got the SB12 or the Hella or a logo at the top. And that's how you usually know that's the top. Okay, so then you get your bulb, make sure, pop that on. Okay, make sure you plug in your, your light. Okay, go right up. Okay, let's just get one in place here. So we hold that. Always good to have a magnetic screwdriver to hold the screw in place. 
And let's just catch that one for now. Keep it loose, don't go tight just yet. You wanna make sure you're hooked in. So my bulb is hooked in, you see? It's not, it's not sliding, it's not spinning. I am hooked into the notches. Put that in here. Sometimes it can be a little tricky, but for the most part, it's not too, too bad. Okay. Tighten that down. And then just get the other screw on the other side. Okay, now once you have that in place, usually before you put the chrome trim ring on, you want to make sure that your bulbs are straight, right? And then when you turn the lights on, it, you get a straight, you know, you, you, your lights are adjusted correctly. And there's guidelines online on how you can find out. So what we normally do is I'll turn the car around and face it towards my garage door, and I put pieces of tape on my garage door to see where the light is shining. You just don't want it shining up into anyone's face or, or shooting too low to the ground. And to make those adjustments is you got the screw here, okay, that goes, tilts the light bulb this way. Then you have another adjustment screw over here that'll turn it in and out, okay, from side to side this way. So just take a look at those. Sometimes these screws are frozen in place. So just take a quick look at those and maybe hit, you know, shoot them with some WD-40. Might have to let it sit overnight. But uh, for the most part, make sure these are freed up because this usually this whole assembly and this whole housing in here is prone to rust big time. And these screws are known to be stuck. So uh, you know, if you're doing a fresh restoration, of course, you're going to want to take all this out and paint it up. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, if you're just changing the bulb and the car's never been restored and you've never been in here for a long time, just be prepared for, to see some rust. Now, uh, the other tricky part here is putting the, now the chrome trim ring on. Now, again, depending on if you got a German, Brazilian, China, um, you know, a lot of people are, are known to just starting the screw. You put the screw, well, they sell these screws online, okay, it's just a long screw. Um, so you want to look underneath and you'll see the hole in there and catch it. What I like to do is catch it first. Just a couple turns for the time being, okay? So what I like to do, I caught it. Now, a lot of people will, will screw this all the way down and then boom, pop up uh, the chrome trim ring because you have a lip up here that catches this trim ring. Now again, depending on where you get your ring from, uh, we'll see how easy that is. If you have an aftermarket fender, an aftermarket trim ring, it could open up a whole can of worms. So what I like to do is get this started first. Don't go all the way in just yet. Get this caught up top, and you'll hear it snap, usually. Let's see here. Bear with me. Okay, you heard that snap. And that's usually it. And then you can start screwing down the bottom. So. Okay, and that's it. Just be careful next time, you know, when you do this, when you pop it up in here, a lot of times I don't like to screw this all the way down here, and you've got to make sure that the bottom part of this chrome is covering that lip that's down here, that's on, that's on the fender. Uh, a lot of times I see the chrome trim ring, again, depending on which uh, you know, version you buy, Brazilian or China or, or German, you know, it's, maybe the chrome trimming is squashed a little too much and they're, they're popping it on up here, they're screwing it down, and then the, the chrome is above the lip, the circular lip here. You don't want that. This chrome trim ring has to cover the whole lip on the fender. So guys, that's basically it. How to change your bulb, how to disconnect this, and just pop out a few screws and the bulb comes out and how to plug it back in. And uh, if you've got any questions, Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com or visit my website, www.ClassicVWBugs.com. Take care. Thank you.